Hello, visionary. So we have something very exciting today. We're going to be hearing from one of my amazing clients and participants in both creative coaching certification. She's now in level three and the four radical transformations certification, which is basically the advanced version of human design going through the PHS, the environment, the view and the motivation. So I just, I'm going to hand it off to you and just share with me, share with everyone a little bit about your journey and also how you got to find out about being a projector and how it's changed your life. Absolutely. My name is Amy Renee Sawyer Titus, and I was introduced to human design um, about three years ago for the first time. And I have always been uh, a seeker of information, a spiritual seeker ever since, you know, I was really about seven. I just had all of these questions about why we're here and what we're supposed to do and who we are in relation to each other. And, you know, I spent the majority of my life always tired, right? Always feeling like I was just lagging behind everyone else. And I didn't know why. And so when I was um, about 13, I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety, which that's a super young age to be diagnosed with something like that and then medicated for it. Um, And then I was on medication. And then when when I was about 16, I decided, hey, you know, this isn't for me. I think that what I'm going through is more spiritually based than physical, right? So I stopped doing um, the prescriptions and I started using herbs. And that was kind of like my journey to start listening to myself rather than what other people were trying to decide for me. So from there, I just kind of spun out into all of these different modalities and spiritual teachings and nothing hit home and really resonated with me like human design did when um, I discovered it three years ago. And I am a projector, I'm a splenic projector. And so all of these different pieces just started to come into place like, oh, I'm tired because I don't have as much energy. I don't have a sacral center that is giving me consistent energy. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. And so it's been an amazing means for me, not only to understand myself, but also to find true, real self-acceptance and self-love because this is who I am. There isn't anything wrong or something I need to fix. It's just something I need to honor. And that in and of itself has just been so life-changing. And so at the beginning of um, 2020, I think it was in March, I think, um, I just had this intuition that I wanted to dive more into human design. Everything was breaking loose, as we all know, when it comes to 2020 and everything that that means. And um, I got online, looked on YouTube, and lo and behold, Raquel pops up, Raquel Nvidian pop up, and I watched her first video, and I just was like, oh my gosh, there's something about this person. Um, I just loved her energy. I loved her vibe. She wasn't as stoic as some of the other people. She was just more personable and real and friendly, and I started binging their videos, and um, I just knew that I had to learn more. Um, So, um, let's see happened. Okay. So then I um, got in contact and and started level one. And um, it's just been an amazing, amazing journey because through the course, it's not just learning about myself, it's learning about the entire system and how everything works together. So I'm able to see um, the patterns and the relationships that I have, have had in the past and how different energetics work together to create the relationship. Um, And so it's been a wonderful cathartic way for me to heal from past things and and present things so that I can show up as my best self, fully understanding myself. And I just love it so much. The other thing that has been so amazing is the relationships with the people in the course. Like starting out, we just are so supportive of each other, listening, holding space, because it is a very vulnerable thing when you start to un unpeel the layers of who you are and why you are that way and how that's influenced your entire life. So the ladies, um, there aren't any gentlemen at this time, but all the ladies that I'm in my course with, it's just like, you know, we're like sisters, honestly. Um, I talk to them more than I talk to some of my family members, honestly, you know, like twice a week and every weekend. Um, It's just 
Raquel has created such a supportive environment for us to dig into this and the intel and the information that she gives us and the way that she's designed her course is just enough, enough information that layers on top of um, each other so that you're absorbing information and you're learning more in an applicable way that I can now take this information and apply it to real life situations and it just it, it works seamlessly and it just seamlessly integrates into into everyday life so it's just such an amazing experience mm, it's so beautiful wow i didn't hear about your story that you were put on you know like antidepressants so young um mm -hmm. i knew that you you know you were a seeker with the herbs and that really helped transform but you know it's so interesting because if you also look not just the undefined sacral but also the undefined solar plexus, right? So you're going to be absorbing and amplifying all of the emotions that you see out there. And that is the answer that most of Western medicine will do is say, all right, well, here's a prescription. Here's what you need to do. And I think that knowing this piece of information and being able to provide it for the children, as we've talked about before, is so key. And this is such a perfect example is like, had anyone been able to be like, no, she's a projector. It's all cool, everybody, you know, like mm -hmm. it would have been so different. Yeah. And, but what a powerful journey. And thank you so much for sharing that and um, sharing about the group. I agree with you. I love the energy that's created and it is super vulnerable. And it is about that space to be able to really be yourself and shed those layers. That was just so well said. Um, tell us a little bit about, because I see you really integrating this into not just your own personal life and obviously sharing with your family, but sharing it in, on a grander scale um, in a business and sort of, um, you know, down the line. What do you kind of see? How do you see integrating this in your professional life? Mm -hmm. If I can ask. I'm so before. excited do that. A little bit about that. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, my, how I feel like I'm going to be called to share this information is going to be to create some YouTube videos, um, to get on Instagram and Facebook, and then really just share the information on a very baser level. People who may not be as spiritually inclined or maybe just starting their spiritual journey and they're looking for something that's really gonna connect with them. And so that fractal, right, I'm going to it just, and you know, if people want to have, um, want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, I definitely want to do that eventually. And just to re really be able to connect with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis and help to guide them towards learning this information for themselves and then taking it in. Because it's, it's awesome to get coaching and to get a reading, but then it's like, okay, and then what, right? So it's like helping people along the way integrate this into their lives um, is what I really feel called to do. And eventually, years, years, years down the road, because I want to continue my education on this forever, um, I want to write a book eventually, because it's just so fascinating. And there's just, I mean, oh, I was also thinking about a podcast. I don't know why, but a human design podcast would be amazing, right? And and um, really just integrating it into how to be your absolute true self, right? The person that you were meant to be, that you're designed to be, that you're comfortable with in all situations um, and how to use human design to get you to that place of clarity and, and purpose. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. I, um, I think that, you know, human design is really on the cusp. We're really like starting, everyone's starting to hear about it and getting ready to, um, it's getting ready to reach the larger population. I think it's still, a, a lot of people still have never heard about it before. And a lot of people are still like, you know, kind of timid with the information, but it's spreading. So, mm -hmm. you know, you definitely see more and more people just knowing the basics. Oh, I'm a generator, I'm a projector, you know? So there's, it's really, really spreading. And so I do think there's just a lot of room and a lot of need for, mm -hmm. you know, people to share the intel with, you know, the world. And this really is sort of the, the, the path of the professional. I think everyone who's in the, this group, 
um, doing the certifications are all going to do really amazing things with not just being themselves and living a totally unique, amazing life, but also bringing the information through in a professional way. And yeah, I mean, books, podcasts, all of it. I see like a big explosion because it's so needed. Yeah. Uh, and you can't, you know, you can't dive into this information and not just fall in love with that fall head over heels because it's just so applicable. You know, it's like, it, it's like a little alarm goes off, like pay attention. Like this is so pertinent and so relevant for everyone, especially with the times that we're moving into. Amazing things are going to happen in the next several years, but it's like people are going to need support more than ever. That's it. That's absolutely it. And, you know, 2020 was such amazing, like breakdown, not amazing, but however you want to look at it, but from human design, you can actually see it. You know, we've been talking about it for years, the, the global cycles, the shift, and then what's happening in 2027. And it is like, you, you sort of see everything happening. So it's pretty amazing how that all happened. And um, so seven years from 2020 to 2027 is the amount of time they say it takes to fully decondition, right? So it kind of makes sense that it all went down in 2020. Yeah. And I agree with you. I think it's going to be more and more important. So thank you so much for sharing and sharing your experience and your journey. And um, I've just been so blessed to watch you like, become yourself and allow this like genius to like expose and I'm just watching this level of beauty and expansion and uniqueness come through and it's truly an honor for me and I've just loved every second with you we're both splenic projectors and we both have the 2551. So we do immediately feel, cause that's such an intense channel. Mm -hmm. And then to have a splenic projector also, um, we immediately felt like, oh my God, we loved each other immediately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's been such a Thank wonderful so journey. Um, so we actually have class in nine minutes. Is there anything else you want to say before we wrap up? No, I think that's perfect. Did you get every good? Okay. Great. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you all for listening. And, uh, you know, what I like to do is I like to share a little bit like um, whoever's sharing, I want to give their either their Instagram, their YouTube channel. She's got some great YouTube videos just getting started on there and she's going to have a lot more to come. So I'll put some links about you below and also some links about the certification for anyone who's ready to dive in deep into the deep end and go a little bit deeper into the program. So thank you so much. And I will see you in about nine minutes. Mwah. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.